Hey there, weather enthusiasts! Welcome back to an exciting episode where we delve into the wonders and mysteries of our planet's weather phenomena. Today, I'm diving into a fascinating and crucial topic storm surge. This is something that can have a massive impact on coastal areas, and understanding it is key to staying safe. Ever wondered what it is and what causes it? Well, you're in the right place. We're going to break it down in a way that's easy to understand, so you can be well informed. So what exactly is storm surge? Let's get into the nitty gritty of it. In simple terms, storm surge is an abnormal rise in seawater level during a storm, beyond the regular astronomical tide. This isn't just a small rise. It can be several feet or even more, depending on the storm's intensity. It can cause significant flooding, damage to coastal structures, and sadly, even loss of life. The power of water should never be underestimated. Now let's break down the causes. Understanding these can help us predict and prepare for storm surges more effectively. The main driver of storm surge is wind, but not just any wind. These are the powerful, relentless winds of a hurricane or tropical storm. When strong winds from a hurricane or tropical storm push on the ocean's surface, they force water toward the shore, causing it to pile up. This is why coastal areas are particularly vulnerable. This is most pronounced on the right side of the storm's path in the northern hemisphere, due to the counterclockwise rotation of the storm. This rotation intensifies the wind's effect on the water. Another critical factor is atmospheric pressure. This might seem less obvious, but it's incredibly important. During a storm, the pressure at the storm's center drops significantly. This low pressure allows the sea level to rise, adding to the surge. It's like the storm is creating a giant dome of water. Think of it as a giant vacuum lifting the water up, but that's not all. There are other factors at play that can make a storm surge even more dangerous. The shape of the coastline and the ocean floor also play significant roles. These geographical features can either mitigate or exacerbate the effects of a storm surge. A gently sloping seabed can greatly amplify the surge, pushing more water inland. This is why some areas experience more severe flooding than others. Coastal features like bays and estuaries can funnel the water, increasing its height and impact. These natural funnels can turn a moderate surge into a devastating one. Now let's talk about the effects. The consequences of a storm surge can be far-reaching and long-lasting. Storm surge can be devastating. It can transform a peaceful coastal town into a disaster zone in a matter of hours. It can lead to widespread flooding, eroding beaches, damaging buildings, and infrastructure. The economic and environmental impacts can be enormous. The surge can also contaminate freshwater supplies with salt water, affecting drinking water and agriculture. This can lead to long-term issues for communities. In severe cases, storm surge can be life-threatening, making accurate forecasting and timely evacuations critical. Lives depend on the ability to predict and respond to these events. So how do we stay safe? Preparation is key. Knowing what to do before, during, and after a storm can make all the difference. Pay attention to weather forecasts and storm warnings. These alerts are there to keep you informed and safe. Evacuate if advised, and always have an emergency plan in place. Discuss this plan with your family so everyone knows what to do. Understanding storm surge helps us better prepare for these natural events and minimize their devastating impacts. Community efforts can also play a big role in mitigating damage. So next time you hear about an approaching storm, you'll know just how crucial it is to stay informed and prepared. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it can save lives. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe out there. Remember, being prepared is the best way to protect yourself and your loved ones.